Well, this is the day we've been waiting for. The last of the Renergy solar panels and associated hardware have arrived. Two 200 watt panels and a 100 watt panel. Those 200 watt panels are quite the handful. They completely cover the dining room table. Guess what? They're like twice as big as a 100 watt panel. Go figure. Ah, it's a beautiful Easter morning. Reading the paper, having a cup of coffee. Now that's not what we're really here for. We're bench testing this 200 watt Renogy panel. And we've been looking at it on an hourly basis as the sun comes up, what the amperage output is. But we've also been looking at the impact that shading has on the output of this panel. And you might be quite surprised if you haven't done this little experiment yourself. Well, she passed the first test. She worked seven amps output. But look what happens when we just cover one cell. Now look, we cover two cells. We've gone from seven amps to basically zero. And we've only covered two cells. Pretty disheartening. The effects don't change much just by raising the newspaper. So you're now you're getting actual light onto the panel, the surrounding ambient light. But you can still see the effects are tremendous on the output of the panel. So ridiculous, you say. What kind of a moron puts a newspaper over the solar panel when they're camping? I'm never going to do that. Well. Let's look at just simple shading and how it might impact the output of your panel. That one little tree branch can have a dramatic impact on the output of your panel depending on where that tree, band, tree branch happens to throw its shadow. Now you may already know, but maybe you don't, but the reason for this is because all these solar cells are connected in series in what's known as a string. And anything that impacts any part of that string affects the efficiency of the entire string. Now there are ways to get around that, but they're not really practical for most RV installations. So it's just something you're going to have to live with. Obviously, a solution if you're going to park in the shade is to have a suitcase solar setup that you can put 10, 20 feet away from the trailer in full sun and charge your batteries that way. We have a 200 watt solar suitcase system and it works quite effectively in uh, shady locations as long as you can get to the sun. Here's of course another thing that's going to drive you crazy in the RV world is that you don't have a tilting and tracking system. Watch what happens when I just put minor amounts of tilt on this panel relative to the sun. Solar developers spend millions and millions of dollars on tracking systems and sophisticated uh, software algorithms to control the tracking of the panels with the sun over the course of the day. They're heavily invested in squeaking every watt out of the available sunlight on a daily basis. That's a lot of lost productivity. And another reason why the suitcase panel is definitely a complement to your RV solar outfit. Your suitcase panel allows you to position directly at the sun, at the sun angle, and as long as you're sitting around camp and you've got the ability to move it around, 
as the sun transits the sky over the course of the day, you can get a lot of productivity out of a suitcase panel that you don't get quite necessarily out of your fixed mount uh, rooftop panel. The disadvantage, of course, of the suitcase panel is you got to tote the darn thing around and you got to store it when you're transiting, etc., etc. But for maximizing your solar production over the course of the day, the suitcase panel really has some distinct advantages. Good morning. Day two of panel testing. Today we've got our second 200 watt panel um, hooked up to the battery and to through the 20 amp solar controller. And uh, we wound up yesterday producing right about 48 amp hours uh, with the 200 watt panel, the first 200 watt panel. We started out partially shaded for probably about the first two and a half hours that significantly cut into our production. And then where I'm at on my deck, I start getting shading at about two o'clock in the afternoon, complete shading by 2.30 or three o'clock. So the late afternoon hours are more, res more uh, in line with like a cloudy day uh, than direct sun on the panel. So that's obviously going to substantially impact the production. So we'll see where we get to today. Um, we're off to a good start. The, the levels that we're seeing and looking on the hour and they're higher than they were yesterday morning. So I think uh, at 10 o'clock we had six and a half amps being produced. So we're getting into the higher sun hours of the morning and we'll see where we go. Take care. Just in case you're wondering, the whole test setup is, is pretty kludgy, quite honestly. So we've got our 200 watt panel sitting here on my uh, teak table from Green Acres. We've got a 200 watt uh, suitcase panel set that we're using the solar controller for in order to take power off of this panel running it into a, a deep cycle 12 volt battery that 12 volt battery then in turn is wired to a 300 watt inverter that i'm running a 25 watt incandescent light bulb off of continuously so i've got a 2 amp load on this 24 hours a day I've got a battery that's probably got about 35 amp hours, 30, 35 amp hours of storage capacity. And then, uh, you know, hopefully we've got a power plant here that's going to generate, hopefully today on the order of 60 amp hours, even with our afternoon partially shaded condition. Well, today's a new day. All the bench testing's done, everything's put away, so the deck is nice and neat again. We've got tremendously different weather today than we've had the last couple days. So we utilized two great days to do the bench testing. Um, we ended up with uh, just a little over 52 amp hours of production yesterday, uh, which is a bit disappointing considering we were 48 when we started to pick up shade. It just goes to show you that the shade really does have an impact. We're packing up, we're taking off, we're headed for Table Mountain here today, and we can then begin the install onto the RV. Take care. We'll see you in a week.